Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss the principle of defense in depth. In today's digital age, cyber threats are becoming increasingly sophisticated and frequent. To protect against these threats, organizations need to implement multiple layers of security controls. This is where the defense in depth principle comes in. Can you identify a common pattern in all these pictures? All of them have multiple layers of security. Each layer provides an additional level of protection, making it more difficult for attackers to breach. The first layer of security is physical security. This involves securing the physical infrastructure of a system, such as data centers, servers, and network devices. Physical security controls can include access controls, surveillance cameras, and alarms. The second layer of security is identity and access management. This involves managing user identities and controlling access to system resources based on user roles and responsibilities. Thus, it helps to enhance security by providing granular access controls and monitoring user activity to detect and prevent unauthorized access. The third layer of security is network security. This involves securing the network infrastructure of a system, such as firewalls, demilitarized zone, intrusion detection, intrusion prevention systems, and virtual private networks, VPNs. Network security controls are designed to prevent unauthorized access to the system and protect against network-based attacks. The fourth layer of security is host security. This involves securing the individual devices or hosts that make up a system, such as servers, laptops, mobile devices, and workstations. Host security controls can include intrusion detection and prevention software, host-based firewalls, and antivirus software. The fifth layer of security is application security. This involves securing the software applications that run on a system, such as web applications, databases, and email clients. OWASP list the common vulnerability at the application layer. Application security controls include secure SDLC practices like secure coding, vulnerability scanning, penetration testing, etc. The sixth layer of security is data security. This involves securing the data that is stored and transmitted by a system, such as sensitive customer information, financial data, and intellectual property. Data security controls can include encryption, access controls, and data loss prevention (DLP) software. Apart from these six layers, the outermost layer is administrative security. Administrative security controls are typically implemented by management and include security policies, which outline an organization's security objectives, standards, and procedures. Security policies provide guidance on how to protect information asset. Security awareness and training. This involves educating employees and other stakeholders on security best practices and policies. Risk management. Risk management includes conducting risk assessments, developing risk management plans, and implementing risk mitigation strategies. Access control. This involves controlling access to information assets based on user roles and responsibilities, and includes user activity monitoring. Compliance management, this involves ensuring that an organization is compliant with regulatory requirements and industry standards. This includes conducting compliance audits, implementing compliance controls, and reporting on compliance status. Incident response, incident response controls can include incident response teams, incident response plans, and regular testing and validation of incident response procedures. By implementing these different layers of security controls, organizations can build a comprehensive cybersecurity strategy that protects against a wide range of cyber threats and reduces the risk of security breaches and data loss. This is the defense in depth principle. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos.